Hello everybody, I'm just uh, going to give a quick preview of Norton Antivirus 2010, which is their beta. It installs with a, uh, a downloader, which is what most um, companies seem to be doing nowadays with downloaders. I mean, I don't really get it quite as much because if you have malware or something and you start and you try to download it to clean your problem up or whatever, the malware could easily block your internet connection and you couldn't download the software. But I'm assuming they're probably also making um a, a installer download as itself so you could get it on a USB flash drive and then download it that way. So this is downloading. Um, it tells you how much it, time is remaining. It's a, it's a pretty nice interface downloader, I think, but uh, that hardly matters. So I'm going to pause this video and just let this finish downloading. And then we'll move into, I guess, the install. So, it went into installation here. And the installer is similar to their 2009 installer. Um, it's pretty quick. And it's easy. There isn't money steps to go through. And to save some time here, um, I'm going to pause this video because to me the installer is the least important part of the application. Okay, so it got to this point in the installation. The uh, main window pops right up um, and then the activation comes up. So they have an interesting interface change. Um, Again, it's pretty much the same, I guess, it seems. Oh, that's interesting. So, kind of a new graphic on their part there. Flip screen. You can flip it over to show different... Different this and that. Um, I'm going to pause the video and enter my product key here. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this interface here, um, take a look at the settings. So, it has the same antivirus, anti-spyware, and then the sonar protection. Um, the interface, I guess, to me seems worse than the last interface they had. Um, they make it easy to turn it off, turn it on, you can set how long you want to turn your protection off and on. Um, same as the, the other, um, version, 2009, if I run the live update, um, pretty much the same here, uh, it checks for updates, and then it installs them, um, it has the Norton CPU and whatever. It looks like it's using really high CPU, but it really isn't just because it's on my VM and I don't have the best processor, and therefore it kind of comes out looking at like a huge CPU, but it really isn't um, if I put it on a normal machine. I'm just going to take a look at what this gets here. Um, it's a performance chart, basically. So... It shows you performance of the CPU and Norton. And then over here it shows you memory usage of the computer and then Norton. Um, 
optimize, I guess. Not sure what that does. Um, I'll have to take a look at some of this stuff. Um, if I flip this back... Not the best if you don't have much of a graphics card, it appears to me, or something like that. For slow computer, it's kind of... Yeah, it's a little slow. Uh, their scan is, you know, easy. It seems a lot like the 2009 version, too. Um, if I look at their settings menu here... So, it seems a little more straightforward so far to me, um, but not much. So, you can set um, all of this stuff here. Uh, compressed file scan, you can set how much it, how much you want to do this. If you hit configure, um, you can create scans, you can select scans, schedule scans. Um, Signature exclusions, scan profiles, uh, real-time protection. You can change stuff like early load. I would definitely always turn on in products like this. Sonar mode, I would turn um, aggressive. And then simple stuff like that. I'm not noticing anything new, any new settings. Um, which is just normal I guess and then there's this is this stuff is new product security um, non admins access to the setting you can block people who are not admins or programs to mess with the settings which would help which could help a lot um, tasks uh, you can change this Let, let's see what their let's see if their interface what it is um, so this seems to be their interface it doesn't seem anything special to me but of course it is the pre-release it's just a beta so it doesn't really I don't really care what the interface looks like, I guess. And uh, I'm assuming they might very well change it. Um, I know that getting rid of their transparency is going to make it a lot faster, because I remember I put it on a slow computer, the 2009 version, and the interface was just killing the computer. It was using all the memory and the CPU when it was open. And I have no, no idea, but that was clearly the interface used too much... Um, memory so it, it's interesting I'm gonna see if I can find a few URLs just to quickly test but I'm thinking it's probably pretty much the same uh, oh well there's also this good stuff which is intrusion prevention email prevention browser protection seems new and then download intelligence seems new so that should uh, protect the browser hijacks and check downloads and stuff in a more advanced manner. So that's cool. I'm just going to get a few URLs in the, in the next part of this video. I'm just going to test um, a few URLs against this just to see if there's any different protect, protection or hijacks that it prevents or whatever. Um, so I'm going to see what I can pull up here and I'll be back in part two.